welcome to another segment of Monday Mommy Motivation. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to have Dr. Jennifer Shell here. She's an obstetrician and gynecologist. She's a mother of two, pregnant with her third baby. Yep. So she's really, you know, a resource to me, to all of you. And I'm so excited to talk to her about something that, honestly, I dealt with when I was pregnant, when I had my daughter. Um, I'm gonna be totally transparent. I think I probably had baby blues because I struggled a lot with breastfeeding. So we're gonna talk about that. Do you think there's a correlation between the two of them? So first of all, thank you for having me. And thank you for second, coming. Of all, second of all, I do believe that there, in some cases there could be a correlation between the two. I'm not gonna say, I don't like even saying the term postpartum depression. I think it's the, this is way more complicated than just saying postpartum depression or blues because blues last two weeks and depression lasts longer than that. It, that's, that's, motherhood is much more complicated than that. Mm -hmm. um, support has a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. Daytime support, nighttime support. I'm a huge proponent of the fact that if you have a night nurse for two nights, especially the night when you get home from the hospital with that baby, where you're overwhelmed and you have family possibly trying to help you who have not had a child in a long time, Girl, they, I remember that. <laughs> and they ask you, is it normal that the baby's getting super red when he cries or just simple things like that? And they can trigger anxiety in a, in a new mom yeah, or even in a second time mom because every baby's different. So it's better to have a professional at your house. The night nurses I provide because I have those available are real nurses. So they're professionals and they know what they're doing. That's and amazing. Yeah. So they will calm you down. You don't need to use them every single night, but just that first week, if you can swing you know, a couple of nights, it's so worth it for those postpartum mood disorders is what I call them. For example, and to answer your question about breastfeeding, if you have certain goals, sometimes moms create these very black and white goals. And if you can avoid those, I highly recommend that. I know I'm a type A personality and sometimes... Because we have a lot of expectations. I'm sorry to interrupt yes. you, but we have all these expectations. 100%. Like I remember myself, I said, you know what? I'm going to try breastfeeding for six months there you go. and that's just not what yeah. happened i barely made it to my recommendation months. is say i'm gonna breastfeed for the first two weeks those first two weeks are crucial and they're crucial for bonding with your baby and that doesn't mean that you have to breastfeed to bond with your baby when i come to a house to help a mother who is struggling and she's in so much pain because she hadn't heard of my services or anything and or she was considering the cost or you know whether it was worth it whether the pain would go away just don't suffer just call me when you're pregnant, that's the best time to call me so I can come when you're pregnant, prepare you, and then come back when the baby is born. Prevention is key in all of these, in having breastfeeding issues, in having postpartum mood disorders, like I call them, and all I heard of these something things. about now uh, postpartum depression and anxiety. Yes. Like they're, they're oh, switching. anxiety is big time. Anxiety is something people don't talk about, and it's huge. So if you prevent all these issues that can give you anxiety, then you lower your risk, obviously. And like with the night nursing or with the home visits, you decrease all these issues. And I keep it simple. I don't teach you a million ways of holding your baby and the different latches, all this fancy stuff. I teach you the basics so that that works for you and you don't have to resort to all these complications really. Because I think like a doctor, I like simple, straightforward, you want to be a boring patient, you don't want to be the complicated one that's right. complicating your no. life. So yes, I do believe that if a mother sets specific goals, more than two weeks at a time, especially in the beginning, she puts herself at risk of failing or what she considers failure. I don't believe any mother fails because mothers who are worried about their children are already good mothers oh, the fact that you I worry that you said that. Yes. yes the fact that you worry makes you a mother we all worry mm -hmm. when we're pregnant we're already mothers you don't have to wait to have a child when you're trying to get pregnant and you're worried about having a child you're already a mother mm -hmm. like you don't have to wait to have the child to become a mother so what i was trying to say is keep keep it simple light flexible get help in advance and that will prevent your postpartum mood disorders. I really believe in that. I also think if a mother, like I was trying to say, they have too high expectations and they don't meet them, they feel like a failure and that's not true. And with the bonding, if you have so much pain that you kind of 
are afraid of the next feeding session, which is what was happening to me. You Definitely. are not bonding with your baby. No. The baby's mouth on your boob does not mean you're bonding with your baby. If you are putting your baby on the breast and you're like this, mm -hmm. that is not bonding, ladies. A bottle with some breast milk that you pumped is way more bonding time with your child than uh, that. Where were you when I had my daughter? I needed you. you. I love when moms say that, but it makes me sad too because I wish I would have been there. I just thought of this after I had kids. So, who's gonna help me, by the way? <laughs> Can somebody find someone for me? But, um, so anyway, that's, I mean, that's basically in summary, but, um, so, I do want to tell them because we have a lot of moms out there. Um, first of all, I always want to say thank you guys for your support in our mom community and listening to these segments. You know, for your friends, for your sister, for your daughter that is pregnant right now, and you're looking at what can I get that person, that woman that I love so much, she's about to have a child, maybe it's her second child, her third child. She doesn't need 16 swaddle blankets. She doesn't need 40 different... A new car seat because the other one is not that pretty. No. <laughs> Do her a favor and get her a gift certificate with Dr. Jennifer Shell. It's a gift certificate of postpartum care. I think it's, it's priceless and the moms love it. And sometimes it makes me cry when I get a call of mom saying, my friend is delivering and a bunch of us are getting together to get her a certain amount of a gift certificate. They can use them for a night nurse that first night when they come home. They'll thank you forever. They will never forget that woman in their house helping them. And I have vetted all of them. I know all of them and my team is amazing. And then me coming while they're still pregnant with that third trimester, like wondering what's going to happen when they go into labor. Oh my God, the priceless. It's, I mean... I don't know, I, I kind of wanted someone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I need, no, I know that I, I needed you when I had my daughter and I, and I watch you on social media, on Instagram, and I love everything that you put thank out. You. You're, you're such a good resource. You. Um, do you want to uh, oh. actually DM me or should yeah, they? They can text guys. I am available. My cell phone is right there. You can text or call me 786-338. 3088 and she that really does as simple as that she answers very quickly i know that i've been texting you hounding you thank you so much for being so <laughs> Girl, responsive I'm happy to be here and um thank you guys for watching this is awesome thank you for having a great week yay